I felt extremely lost. I felt like I was spiralling downwards. I didn't know how to get out. A time when I most felt lost would have been, there's been a few, but it would have been uh, maybe, I think it was 2008. Um, I was having the time of my life. I was finished up on All Saints and I was doing a musical, Tell Me On A Sunday, and my best buddy died. Um, his name was Mark Priestley and he still makes me very sad. Um, but he suffered from depression and we were always trying to talk to him about, you know, talking to other people and, and knowing that you're not alone um, and everyone goes through down moments. A very trying time. Um, I was about to embark on a trip to LA, uh, which is quite the adventure. And I knew in myself um, that going through such a loss, I needed to be around my friends and family to process such a massive grief in my life and in you know, fellow actors and actresses' lives, um, having lost such a dear friend. Uh, at the same time, I had a, was in a horrible relationship um, and I ended up, while I was filming Rush, a very physical show in the middle of winter in Melbourne, I ended up with whooping cough, pneumonia and swine flu in one hit. So it was the worst time of my life and I felt extremely lost. I felt like I was spiralling downwards. I didn't know how to get out. Um, and it was just one step at a time and I would talk to my friends and I would talk to my family and I followed the um, you know, assistance of a friend who suggested I go to a counsellor which helped a lot to talk to someone who wasn't necessarily someone in my close friends group. That's always an interesting perspective on yourself. Um, and yeah, I just did things that made me feel like myself, my authentic Joe self. I did yoga, I danced in the lounge room, I sang in the car, I laughed with my friends. I did everything to build myself up again to get my strength back and I just knew that I, you know, everyone goes through it and I would come out the other side and I did.